What's up my friends, welcome back! Today we'll use this small double V TV 020 module to play some sounds using Arduino. This is a very interesting module and is the perfect way to add voices to all your Arduino robots or sounds to any of your projects. The quality is not the best, but the price of this module is about 2 euros, so that's pretty good. What I first wanted is to add some engine and cannon sounds to my 3D printed tank from the past tutorials. But this module makes a small pause between each played track. So if I want to make a constant engine sound that would be impossible because between each loop or engine sound change there would be a pause. So now I'm working to another nice project. I want to build a small talking robot and this module is the perfect one for this kind of project. You just store your tracks on a micro SD card and play them using Arduino. You can play, pause, change track or mute the sounds using just 4 pins from the Arduino. So let's get started with the tutorial. What we will need is an Arduino, the WVTV020 module, a micro SD card, an extra sound amplifier because the module output is very low and finally we will need a small 8 ohm speaker. First of all we have to prepare our micro SD card. It has to be lower than 2 GB. Using a micro SD card adapter, we connect the SD card to a PC. We then go to my computer and right click on the SD card drive and press format. As file system we have to choose FAT. If FAT doesn't work then try FAT32. We press format. Now our SD card is ready. The next step is to prepare our audio files. The files must be in an AD4 format. Besides, the recorded audio must be in a 16 bits mono sound, so we won't be able to play stereo sounds. I record my sounds using Adobe Audition. When I create the project, I choose directly 16 bits format and mono sound. I export the sound as WAV or MP3. If you just want to play any MP3 file, like for example a song or an alarm sound, you should first convert the format to a 16 bits mono sound using any kind of audio converter. Now that we have our audio files in 16 bits mono format, we have to convert them to an AD4 format. To do that, first we have to download the AD4 converter zip file from a link below. Now I recommend you to create a new folder named audio directly in the C directory. That will make everything easier because we will use common prompt. Copy your WAV or MP3 file in that new created folder and name it 0000. If you have more than just one sound, name them 0000, 0001, 0002, etc, etc. The file names must be in this format, otherwise the module won't recognize the tracks. Now we extract the downloaded 84 converter zip file and copy that file into our audio folder. The folder should look like this. A folder named audio in the C directory with the AD4 converter file in it and all the audio files named as shown before. Now open the command prompt and type cd space dot dot to go one directory back or directly type cd space slash to go directly to the C directory. Press enter. Now to open our created folder type cd space audio and press enter. Now we are inside of the created folder. We will now convert the files one by one. Type 84 converter space line e4 space 0000.wav and press enter. This should create a new 84 format file inside of the audio folder. We are done. We've converted the mp3 or wav file to 84. We do the same for all the files, always changing the file name. Finally, we copy these files to our micro SD card. These are the connection that you have to make between the Arduino and the sound module. Pin 4 as the reset pin, pin 5 as the clock, 6 as the data and 7 for the busy pin. Connect a 470 ohm resistance from pin 16 to a LED and the LED to pin 15. Next connect ground and 3.3 volts to the module. 5 volts could damage the module. Insert the SD card in place and the module would be ready to play sounds. 
Now download the Arduino example code from a link below and open it in Arduino IDE. You should also download the WVTV library zip file. To import the library go to Sketch, Include library and add zip file library and select the downloaded zip file. In the code as you can see we import that library. We define the pins and make a reset to the sound module. These are all the functions that you could use. To play just one track use the play voice function and select the number of your track. In this case 0 represents the 0000 track of the SD card and 1 the 0001 track and so on. You can stop, pause and mute the sounds. I will use the play voice function for this example to play the 0005 from the SD card. Upload the code and connect a speaker between pins 4 and 5 of the sound module and we are done. Now every loop the 0005 file will be played. To improve the sound quality we will use this next schematic. I've used this cheap PAM8403 audio amplifier. Connect 5V to the sound amplifier and connect pin 4 from the audio module to the left input and P5 to the right input. Share ground between the audio module and the amplifier. Solder 1 or 2 speakers to the left and right outputs and we are done. Now I could put this module inside a small robot and program it to talk. In the next videos we will see how to build ourselves the audio amplifier using op amps. I hope you like this video. Please check all the information in the description. Visit my webpage for more information. Please subscribe and motivate me for more videos like this one. See you later guys.